In this video, we're gonna talk about some of the factors that affect acidity. And this is a very important skill to learn because there's many times in organic chemistry when you wanna look at different molecules and be able to say, oh, that molecule is more acidic than another, or that one is more basic. And so how do you make that decision? And that's what this video is about. There's gonna be about six or seven different factors which affect acidity, and we'll go through them in turn. And this was about the first and probably most important factor. Just remember, make sure we're all on the same page with acidity and basicity. Remember that top left here, we've got a very, very strong acid, hydrochloric acid. And it, when we dissociate to give H plus and Cl minus, we get a very stable conjugate base. Cl minus is the conjugate base. At the bottom here, we have methane. It's a very, very weak acid. And it's going to give us a very unstable conjugate base. And a different way of looking at a, a stability of your conjugate base is in, if you think of stability as is the opposite of basicity. So the more stable something is, the less basic it is. And the less stable it is, the more basic it is. Okay. And one other thing, notice that all these species have negative charges. So what is it that makes chlorine, the chloride ion here, a very stable conjugate base and CH3 minus a very unstable conjugate base? We'll, we'll get into that. So let's, let's start talking about that, that first question. So basicity is really largely related to the stability of negative charge. And remember that, that uh, negative charge is really we're just thinking about negative charge, we're thinking really about electrons. So the more stable those electrons are on a given atom, then the less basic that species will be, or the conversely, the more unstable it is, the more basic it will be. So more stable equals less basic, less stable, equals more basic. That's a good rule of thumb to go through when thinking about acids and bases. And remember how acidity and basicity are related. We just said that if we understand basicity, we're also going to understand acidity because the less basic something is, uh, the, the more acidic the conjugate acid. and then less less acidic conjugate acid. Okay, so let's look at a specific example here. The number one factor, one of the most important factors to look into when thinking about just whether something's gonna be acidic or not is just by actually looking at the charge. And as you might expect, uh, charge density is going to be related to the stability of um, the amount of tr negative charge you have is going to be related to its stability. So if we look at O2 minus, for example, here we have very high charge density. We have a, a large um, density of electrons on O2 minus. And remember that, uh, you know, opposite charges attract, like charges repel. If we have a lot of like charges, in this case, um, two negative charges on this oxygen, this is going to be quite unstable. So we've got a charge of, of minus two on this. When we compare this to water, for example, which is certainly going to be having zero, a formal charge of zero here is going to be more, more stable. So there's going to be um, a less, a lower, lower electron density here lower electron densities. Okay, so as we go from O2 minus to OH minus to H2O, this is going to be more basic, and this is going to be less basic with OH in between. And again, thinking about the acidity of each of these species, so if we have HO minus giving us H plus and O2 minus, 
sorry, O2 minus, comparing to water, which would give us H plus and OH minus, and if we compare H3O plus, giving us H plus and water. Of all of these three things, we said that the water was the most stable, and O2 minus is the least stable. So that means that this is going to be the strongest acid, and this is going to be the weakest acid. So like I said the amount of negative charge you have on your molecule is going to be uh, related to the basicity of it. So the higher the charge density, the the more unstable it will be. And this actually goes for any conjugate base and its conjugate acid. For example, if you compare Cl minus and HCl, Cl minus is going to be a stronger base than HCl. You know, you're always going to, you know, as long as you have a negative charge there. Now, actually, I didn't mention it, but there's a, an example even further over to the right. If you have H3O plus, this is even, um, you even have a less density of, a lower density of negative charge. So this is even, um, this is even a more, a weaker base. We don't really think about H3O plus as a base, however, because if it was to add H plus, we'd actually get H4O2 plus. So there'd be a positive charge of two plus two on our oxygen. And that would be, that's an extremely unstable species. Uh, we would usually never see that. And again, it sort of comes down to the same factor. High charge densities in general are unstable. But in the case of basicity, we're really looking at factors which stabilize negative charge. And like we said, the higher the charge density, the less stable it's gonna be.